Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. I had the funniest thing happen the other day when I was at a person's house doing an interview of them. That person said to me, you need to use the bathroom? Well, I thought they knew something I didn't and they were persistent that I use the bathroom. The reason was that the bathroom in that house was something very, very special. And you could tell by looking at the door. And when you went in, yes, it was a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. But then when you looked up at what was on the walls, you realized it was a museum of sorts, dedicated to the memory of one person, actor Boris Karloff. And Boris Karloff, born William Henry Pratt in London, England, is everywhere in this room. The posters, the pictures, the awards celebrate a 60-year career in movies and on the stage. Yes, this is more than just a bathroom. It's a loving tribute to a man who captured the imagination of the world. And after he shot to prominence doing Frankenstein in 1931, he did a lot of other roles. And there are figurines to commemorate those roles. The Mummy, that classic movie, The Old Dark House with Charles Lawton and the Mask of Fu Manchu. They're all here and some beautiful artwork. And then, if you have a moment, walk back out of the bathroom into the living room. And there you'll find a bookcase full of more mementos and on the shelf, a Grammy Award. Won by Boris Karloff in 1966 for his work on The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. And even out front, the woman who owns this house has a statue of Karloff. I've had this statue now for about 18 months, and um, it's a remarkable piece of work. Um, call it Daddy. And uh, the mailman and the UPS man and Federal Express refer to me now as the lady with the monster in her courtyard. And Boris Karloff's only child, Sarah, has the right to call him Daddy. Does she ever move the statue? Oh, no. One doesn't haul Daddy around. <laughs> He's pretty heavy. He's he's uh, has a bronze overlay. And what's it like to be the curator of Daddy's legacy? It's a privilege. That's what it's like, because he was such a lovely human being. And Sarah Karloff does keep the legacy alive, especially talking to school children. And what do they ask? Oh, what was it like being the daughter of a monster? And according to Sarah Karloff, her dad wasn't a monster in real life. He was a sweet, wonderful kind of guy, and her house pays loving tribute to her father. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.